Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited because um, if you kind of saw my books and beauties video or the beauty and books, I don't remember what I named it. Um, you'll know that I'm really getting, I wanted to do kind of like a book review um, type of playlist on my channel and I'm so excited because today is our first one. I have quite the extensive list of notes. So let's just get on to the book or the books I'll be talking about. So I got this book series called The Lux. The Lux was actually um, on my book list back in high school. And um, I know I'm aging myself, but I graduated high school in 2012. So around 2010, I believe I was trying to read these. So anyways, the first book out of the book series is The Lux. So I finished The Lux and I now am on rumor. So it goes the Lux, Rumor, Envy, and they're all on this in this little book set. And then there's another one called Splendor, I believe. And annoyingly, that's not in any book set. Like, you know, if you get this nice little box, it has all of them, you don't have to worry about it. There is not a single one, at least on Amazon, where it has the fourth book. So I have to buy the fourth book separately. And this is just me being picky, but I can't find it anywhere at like half price bookstores. I have looked and looked and looked. And I'm like, I really don't want to have to go on Amazon and spend $6. I'd rather go to half price bookstore and spend $2. But that's just me. I'll buy it anyways. I'm just being silly. So anyways, the Lux has, the Lux is a very interesting book. Um, it takes place in Manhattan in 1899. And don't worry, if you wanted to read this book, I'm not really going to give away any spoilers. I'm just going to talk about the characters. So it's very much like high society Manhattan. Um, it reminds me a ton of Gossip Girl. Just so incredibly much. In fact, I have a list on the characters and who they remind me of. So one of the characters is named Elizabeth. She reminds me of Serena. Kind of has that... Um, just that way about her of just calm and tranquility and kind of just, she does things for the right reasons, but she also still tries to remain true to herself. Then you have Penelope, who reminds me of Blair, and she just reminds me of Blair because of all of her scheming and planning. Then you have Miss Holland, who reminds me of Eleanor, kind of like that nosy mother who's going to make you do things that you don't want to do for her own good. Then you have Diana, who is like Jenny, very much that wild spirit, but also kind of wants the recognition. Then you have Henry, who reminds me a lot like Chuck. The reason why he reminds me of Chuck is all of his party. Then we have Will, who reminds me of Dan. The reason why Will kind of reminds me of Dan is because he's very much on the outside looking in, but he doesn't necessarily want to be on the inside. Then you have Lena, who reminds me of Georgina. And the reason why she reminds me of Georgina is because she causes trouble. Everywhere she goes, you're like, really? Really? You're just causing trouble. Then there's Mr. Schudemacher, who reminds me of Bart. And the reason why he reminds me of Bart is because he uses his son for his own gain. And then you have Teddy, who reminds me of Nate, because Nate is that good friend to have, but also has his own problems. And that's very much like Teddy. But yeah, it's very much, you know, high society, rich young people kind of doing what they want, you know, incredible clothes, parties, you know, they don't worry about anything, kind of a lot like Gossip Girl. The only difference is this is 1899, so it's kind of, it's kind of different because they don't have cell phones, they, um, you know, cars are still, it's a lot of horse and buggy, you know, no cars. Um, they do have, like, newspaper, which is kind of, like, your glimpse onto what's going on. Like, that's where all the gossip is, is being written about in, um, like, the newspapers and the columns, the high society columns. So, and it's a very complicated relationship type deal. Like, everybody has their responsibilities that they have to their family names. And these are very old family names. And you just kind of see a lot of, like new versus old, kind of like what parents want versus what the kids want, and the kids are trying to make their own way, um, is a lot of what I kind of see in the in this book. Um, there are a couple of downsides to the book. It, it, it was a very slow start um, to get through. It was just kind of like, 
ugh, because it was, it was kind of, like, annoying to get through. Um, but that's just me. I, I don't know. I, the beginning of books are not my favorite part. I mean, it's really good because it's setting up a good foundation because you're getting to know these people, but it was just kind of a very slow start, in my opinion. One thing I also really like about this book and what reminds me of it as Gossip Girl is that the very beginning in the prologue, it is kind of like in the beginning of a Gossip Girl episode when, you know, Gossip Girl is kind of giving you the rundown on what's going on, kind of like in society and roughly what's going on with the characters. It kind of does the same thing. And these did roughly come out at the same time. I don't know if one was inspired by the other or not. I do definitely think it's a really great read. Um, what I like about the first book is that the chapters are really short, so you kind of feel like you're going through it really fast. Uh, the second book, which I'm already on, its chapters are running a bit longer, which I'm not a huge fan of because when I'm trying to go to bed at night, uh, I'm like, well, let me just finish this chapter. And then in this book, it was like, oh, that's the next page. In this book, that's like three pages away. But that's just because I like to read basically until I uh, pass out. <laughs> that's strictly a me thing but yeah no it's actually been like a really fun book um to read like I said I don't want to give out you know I don't want to give away what happens because I want you guys to pick it up and read it and then kind of give me like what you think but it is definitely a fun read um I love the dresses <laughs> they're so pretty <laughs> um it is just a really interesting it definitely takes you to another planet you know, and it's just so interesting because it's like I'm attached to my cell phone and she's like they didn't have cell phones and they all wrote notes to each other. And I'm like, how archaic is that to like write notes to people? But I think that's part of the fun um, is seeing kind of the difference in time periods, because a lot of times I read books that were written pretty much in the time period of today. And so they're like, oh, cell phones, text messages. Um, but yeah, it's also interesting because certain buildings haven't been built yet. Like, I don't think the Empire State Building has been built yet. I think that was 1912? I don't remember. History. Yeah, you would never know. I took so many history classes. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a really fun, interesting read. And people are talking about going out west to strike it rich. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> like, like, that's just not done. You know, like, people... Because they're not going out to become, like, actresses or anything like that. They're going out there to, like, strike gold or um, oil and stuff like that. And so it's just, it's a really interesting time piece, I think. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's kind of short because this is just kind of like an update. Like, I don't want to give anything away. I don't want to do any spoilers or anything just in case anyone was curious about reading it. But for being an older book series, well, I, I say older, like, it, I don't even know when it came out. When was it published? So I think the first paperback edition came out in 2008. So it is a bit of an older series. Um, still really good, though. And I would definitely recommend it to anyone who really enjoyed Gossip Girl or whoever enjoys kind of like high society books. This is definitely really an interesting read. So yeah, like I said, it was kind of short because I didn't want to give anything away. And I've only read one book. I mean, I'm sure once, once I've read all four books, I will do another... Well, I'll give you updates as I go along but after, once I finish all four books I'd, I'll definitely sit down and do like a really big going into the book and everything oh another thing I found the first book to be very predictable you know it was like oh I wonder what this is and I'm like I already could guess what it was and I was like oh what do you know I was right um there was a like, huge twist at the end but I kind of felt like something like that was coming so I didn't quite like how it was so predictable and how it was kind of slow and all the good stuff happened at the end. Um, I felt like you could have definitely like brought it sooner into the book and then been more detailed. But that's just my personal opinion. But yes, like I said, this will be a little shorter. But once I finish like the next, once I finish Rumor, I'll do a review kind of on Rumor and how I feel like they tied in together. And then same with Envy and then same with Splendor. And then when, we'll, when I finish Splendor, I'll do a huge book kind of... Um, review over the whole series and that I will give out some spoilers but don't worry I will warn you in the title not to watch if you don't want any spoilers but yes that is where we are with the Lux so thank you so much for watching I was so excited to film this you have no idea I was driving my mom and my friends nuts I was like oh my god I'm so excited to do my first book review so I'm very excited and thank you so much for watching and if you like this video or if you're going to read the book please give it a like 
and subscribe. And I would love to talk to you about this book or any other books. If you have book recommendations, please leave them down in the comment box below. Um, I'm always looking to add more books to my book list. And if you guys would like to see a copy of my book list, also just kind of let me know in the comments and I'll post it down there. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time. Bye.